Do you guys ever have people that are getting on your nerves? Maybe they're robbing you of joy. You know, uh, maybe they're talking behind your back and they're doing all these things to intentionally try and hurt you. I mean, how do you deal with that? I kind of thought all people like me. <laughs> well, you guys, guess what? We're gonna be talking about that right now. All right, so how do you deal with people that are pushing your buttons and they're constantly doing things to mess with you? Um, Jenna, how do you handle stuff like that? Well, I actually had a situation like that. I know not everyone likes me. Um, and it was hurtful. And so I began praying. Well, at first I was angry. I'm gonna not lie. I was angry and my mom and I began praying and God um, reminded me of this verse and it's in Matthew chapter five, verse 44. It says, but I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. It goes on to say, like, if you love those who love you, like, what reward do you have? Loving those who are unlovable or loving those who um, persecute you or, or say they don't like you, um, that's powerful. That's what Jesus did, and we're to model him, and it is hard, it is hard, but we have to honestly, like, push ourselves aside and do what he wants and it's hard sometimes but when you operate in love the bible says that love covers a multitude and when you're operating in love i can tell you i can assure you that god will really mightily move in that the holy spirit is all over that and there's you guys there's like two main things that really happen when you begin to to pray for people if they're your enemies or whoever it is when you pray for people it actually gets god to start moving on their behalf like if you want other people to change it starts with prayer we need to pray for those people that are that are coming against us but also the second thing that begins to happen as we start to pray for other people is we begin to change and you know honestly that's what's going to separate you everyone can say I believe in God or I'm a Christian, but really what's going to separate you is that the Bible says they're going to know you by your love. They're going to know you by your fruits. If you're not walking in love and you're constantly angry and bitter and hateful towards Christians and non-Christians or whoever, really it's just like, I don't know, it, it, it doesn't, doesn't minister to people because anyone could say they're a Christian. Anyone can say they love God, but really actions showing who you are in Christ, that's what's powerful and that's what's gonna change people and that's what's gonna get people to say there's something different about them. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed this week's message and if you need help praying, write a comment below and my husband and I will be praying for you. That's right, leave a comment man and subscribe.